What's up everybody, I'm B True, and today we're going to go over another one of the rare ninja from the 5 Kage treasure. Today we are looking at Killer B. So, Killer B, the Seven Sworded Thug. There are two different versions of Killer B. There are, there's the Samahada one, and then there's the Seven Sworded Thug. Samahada is more of a blitz attack kind of a character, whereas Seven Sworded Thug is more of a support kind of character. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second. But anyway... Killer B, he's a lightning ninja, pretty pretty cool. I mean, obviously he's got seven he's got seven swords, and that's pretty awesome. His uh, his life growth is actually pretty good. He got almost two thousand for his life growth at uh, gold plus four. His attack is very good for a support character, thirteen hundred, and then he also has good defense at twelve hundred. So you can put him in the front row. That's actually not a uh, it's not a bad. Not, not a bad thing to do. He can tank decently well. He also has almost a 1,000 resistance. Um, so he does have some good tanky stats. I like to put him in the back row, though, just because I don't need his mystery um, or his attack in the, the front of the order, and I got other people that I would rather have up there. But you can put him in the front row if you would like. So those are his stats right there. You see that. Now, let's look at his skills. So, the reason that he is a support character is primarily because of his mystery skills. So, what you do is you select somebody on your team in your lineup, and you can give them an extra standard attack. Uh, and this lasts for two rounds, and that unit is also immune to interruption. Okay? Now, he obviously... Uh, it synergizes with certain characters more than others because of this mystery. So basically what you use Killer B for is you use him to buff ninja that are uh, that have really strong standard attacks to give them the ability to use it again. So you could use him on somebody like Great Ninja War Choji because using his attack, uh, which attacks everybody twice, is very strong. Um, Sailor Sakura. Uh, what's, what's another, anybody that attacks, um, oh, especially like Great Ninja War Conqueror, that's, that's, that's deadly because he, you know, applies the, uh, ignition on top of it to two ninjas. So that's anybody that has like a strong AOE basic attack, Killer B synergizes really well with because he allows them to use that attack twice. Okay. So that's kind of what you want to, you want to use him for. I use him because I have Hidan curse mode death possession blood right so his basic attack attacks uh up to six ninjas that are tagged and he can cause tag himself uh so he attacks up to six ninja that are tagged and he does a very large aoe nuke attack to them so with killer b i am able to buff hidan so he can do that attack twice per round so in the first round i can end up doing a lot of damage to the enemy team so then his normal attack guaranteed seven hit combo which is again i mean obviously very good and has a chance of causing knockdown <clears throat> then one of his passives uh tailed beast chakra so before each action he recovers life based on his ninjutsu and he is immune to all debuffs so he's always immune to all debuffs and before each one of his actions uh, he recovers life then, Tailed Beast Instructor, in the beginning of battle, up to nine Jinchuriki ninjas on your field will be given a shield based on 40% of your resistance, and their ninjutsu and attack will also be raised by 30%. So that's really good. Uh, one, so you can use that with Naruto and uh, Gara, And then it's also going to be really good whenever the Jinchuriki treasure gets released. Uh, and you can get some of those Jinchuriki as well. So you can, you can uh, match him up with Roshi, get a nice little... A nice little shield on Roshi and increases ninjutsu and attack uh, as your tank. So that's good once we get more Jinchuriki in the game. But you can also use him with like Sage Naruto and Gara to make them even even stronger. And then finally his chase. Chase and attack knockdown. Cause high float and paralysis. So he's got a little bit. He's got a one person uh, crowd control. But he doesn't, he doesn't really have a lot of crowd control. His main support role is... Uh, is giving that extra attack so he's more of an attack support he's not a support that's gonna clear a bunch of debuffs or heal anybody um he only shields jinchuriki which you know unless you've got sage naruto and uh and gara he's not really gonna shield anybody else in your team other than himself 
So uh, he's more of an attack support than a uh, like a, a traditional support or like a, a tanky support. But as I said, his mystery is very very strong. If you have ninja like Hidan, Great Ninja War Choji, uh, Sailor Sakura, anybody that that does a lot of damage AOE with their basic attack, Killer B is great for. So let's show you, let's show you him in battle. So this is this is the combo that I use. Because his mystery, you can use round one, and it costs zero. So I use Hidan's mystery. And then, actually, you know, here, let me show you this against a team so you can see how this works. <clears throat> Since uh, going up against one Kakashi isn't going to really show it. So we'll go up against a team of Kakashis. So this is, you know, your standard battle. So I would select whatever ninja I want to make sure I get tag on. And then I buff Hidan with killer b so now we got three ninja that are tagged and hidan is going to attack twice once my main's done so you see he attacks the whole team there does seven thousand i mean obviously it's much less it's like two to three thousand against um ninja that have like a defense and everything but yeah so he does a lot of damage um and because hidan can attack twice i end up getting like a pretty sizable lead in the first round so there's his basic attack you see guaranteed seven seven hits and then let's go over his chase so he chases knockdown causes high float paralysis and there we go so all in all he is He's strong as a offensive support, like I said, if you pair him up with the right team. If you don't pair him up with somebody um, that does a lot of AoE damage um, or somebody that's able to cause a lot of crowd control or debuffs to the enemy team, he isn't all that good. Like If I took out Hidan Death Possession, uh, I wouldn't use Killer B just because there would be no reason to use Killer B. I would, I would take more of a... Of a, of a healer support if I didn't have him. But I use him with because I have Hadan and the amount of damage that we're able to put out in the first round is very strong. So that's kind of what you want to think about with Killer B. Yeah, he's a cool ninja, but he only synergizes with a, a few characters, and he's very uh, he's very niche in in what you can use him for. Like he's there's there's only a specific amount of of ninja that you can use him for effectively. Obviously, you can throw him into any lineup, but you want to use him as effectively as possible, so make sure you're keeping that in consideration if you get Killer B and you would like to use him on your team. That's, uh, what are we looking at? Pretty sure we went over everything. Yeah, I mean, he's a Lightning Ninja, so that, that obviously helps with, um, with your Lightning main. And he's also, that's another thing, he's also very good for, um, uh, what am I looking for? Nine Tails. Yeah, he's really good for the Nine Tails event because he can give you an additional attack uh, for the Nine Tails, and because he's lightning, he synergizes with your lightning main, so you can use the lightning buff uh, and all that good stuff. So that's uh, that's about it. That's all I got on Killer B. If you guys like Killer B, or if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please click that like button down below. It really helps me out, and I do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, stay up to date with all of my future videos, Naruto Online, League of Legends, Diablo 3, everything that I've, I'm making. We are quickly approaching 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you get in on that while you still can. Be one of the first 1,000. Pretty excited about that. Should be coming up here in uh, maybe a week or so. But, yeah, help me, help me reach 1,000 subscribers, please. Really excited about it. Thank you all so much for those of you who have subscribed already. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching to this point in the video. If you're still around, appreciate you so much and all of the help that you guys and support you guys have given me. Have a great day, everybody, and peace.